Hey guys, welcome back. Today will be part four of our high altitude balloon project and this will be the continuing build of our flight data recorder using Arduino. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. This is the current status of our flight data recorder for the high altitude balloon project. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, I'll post a link up here. You might want to check those out first. So where we're at today, uh, last video I got the real-time clock module working uh, via the I squared C data bus. And uh, since then, I didn't show this as I put it together, but I went ahead and added the uh, barometric pressure sensor over here. And it, it's also an I squared C device. What I also did was do some mods to the code and uh, <clears throat> added uh, the support for the external temp sensor, which I'll be adding here in the next video. I added support for the uh, onboard battery monitoring. So we're going to be powering this with a lithium polymer 7.4 volt 2 cell battery. And uh, I want to be able to monitor that um, mostly for my testing in the beginning. I need to test the heck out of this thing so uh, early on I'm going to be logging a lot of data, putting this thing in the freezer, shocking the heck out of it and I would like to see what's going on in the in the data. So um, that's added. I don't have the uh, resistor set up on the board and we'll go ahead and do that here in a minute but uh, let's uh, have a, this thing happily chugging away here writing to the SD card. We'll have a quick look at the serial window and show you what it's logging. So this is just the laptop here. Uh, I'll show this better in a screen capture uh, later in this video but this is the difference. Um, now what we have is the real-time clock. We have bus voltage which is just floating right now. External temp which is also floating right now. We have pressure in kilopascals which is reading accurate right now internal temperature which is from the barrow sensor and we also I went ahead and added some code to convert the KPA to altitude in meters so that thing is happily chewing away right now looking pretty good pretty happy with that so let's go ahead and add uh, add the final wiring for the battery support and see what we get so what we need for the onboard battery monitor, because we're going to be measuring over 5 volts, we're going to need a voltage divider. And I already have analog pin 0 set up to use, so uh, let's go ahead and get a voltage divider set up. We'll go to the tickle trunk here. Anybody ever watch Mr. Dress Up? And we'll go sift through the bin. This is uh, my parts bin for resistors. Uh, what I'm going to go with to start, I think, is two 10 kilo ohm resistors. So these ones here should work out perfectly. We'll go ahead and we'll set up a divider circuit. Alrighty guys, <clears throat> so what I've gone ahead and done, I've made a, a quick voltage divider using these 10 kilo ohm resistors. This side of my breadboard I've got from for uh, bus 5 volt positive and negative from the Arduino itself, which right now is being fed from serial. So the 5 volt out from the Arduino, I take and put the resistor from here to one of the center terminals, and then I also go from the other side back to the negative. So that is our basic divider circuit. We take our analog input zero, which I've assigned to, uh, to be our voltage measurement for our balloon project, and we simply plug it in. And on the screen here, you can't see it, but trust me, we've gone from a floating value to a flat 5 volt value. Uh, going from 4.99 to 5. So exactly what I wanted. That is our onboard measurement. So uh, going forward, what will happen is uh, instead of being fed from serial from the uh, USB, I'll be hooking up to the V-in on the Arduino with my lithium polymer pack. We'll simply move the live feed, the positive feed, feeding the one resistor of our voltage divider, we'll move it over to the lithium polymer supply and then we'll tee off and do the same as we did before. Uh, back to the analog in zero and that will allow us to measure the 7.4 volt battery pack. 
should work like a champ. Pretty happy. So here we are with the code opened up. We've got the serial window open here and you can see our flight data recorder is happily capturing data. The real time clock is working perfectly. Our voltage divider is just measuring the Arduino output voltage right now, not from a battery pack, so we're getting pretty static 5 volts. External temp is still floating, I have to hook that sensor up. Pressure, we're showing uh, varying around 99 kPa. The internal temp from the barrow sensor board, working good, and our altitude is uh, varying um, pretty Pretty significantly this is altitude meters due to this sensor isn't the best it's uh, not 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 real good at all actually I have some uh, 185 the better versions but I don't think I'll add those I think I'll just stick with this for now uh, it's only redundant so it's it's working for now and uh, we're not going to be using this altitude figure we'll when we decode the data after we'll just use the kpa then we can compensate for temperature properly this is actually just running from a static temp so let's have a look at the code um, for anyone not interested in the arduino portion go ahead and skip to the end but uh, this is where we sit um, what I did is I've, I have the Thingiverse thing. You can download all the versions of this code. So right now we're on version 4. And uh, we'll skip ahead. We've done version 2. Version 3 we added the 992, the uh, 5A2 barrow temp sensor. Pins were connected to. Uh, the code is lousy, I'll admit it. I do multiple calls to the data bus in uh, multiple areas and uh, I just don't have the time to go back and consolidate that code if anybody wants to do it uh, I'm, I'm open to the option but uh, for now it works it's just not efficient the uh, battery voltage monitoring we're going to use analog pin zero I even put some information in here for beginners later to uh, where I got it and how we're going to do it v4 actually this is the same v3 and v4 I just did separate because I added the altitude um, equation in and uh, one thing I've learned is save your code and don't mess with it start a new version if it's working start a new version before you start messing with uh, anything major it saves so much grief so I just do new versions all the time so uh, I won't go through this line by line We've got support for the, the libraries for uh, the Barrow sensor and um, the, some uh, constrained integers and some floats set in. Um, we need to know the static C pressure for our altitude. The SD card stuff, wire library stuff for, uh, uh, for the I2C. The, um, it's pretty basic from here. We print the headers to the file and we go into the void loop and we can read the bat battery pin. Um, the the val uh, divided by 511 times the reference volts because uh, it's 1023 divided by 2. So I even noted that for people who are going to use this code downrange. Hopefully it helps someone. Uh, I just take this stuff and break it apart and build it up piece by piece. Check the SD card, write to uh, the, the comma separated uh, the Excel file, and that's about it. We do the my, my file prints and we just print everything to the SD, and this is just a separate subsection for doing the date. That's it. That is our our flight data recorder for our high altitude balloon in a nutshell hope this helps someone thanks for joining me today and good luck in all your builds uh, especially if you're building a high altitude balloon let me know in the comments if you are thanks for watching <laughs>